I'm Liv and welcome back to my channel Endless Pages and welcome to today's video which is my August TBR. So in August I'm participating in two readathons keeping it semi-sane. Um, the first one is the Pick Pongathon. This is a readathon inspired by Beer Pong. It is Crystal from Bomb Book Reviews um, monthly TBR game but in August she opens it up for everyone. Uh, this is my first time participating and I'm so excited. And then we also have the Magical Readathon by Book Roast. Um, this is kind of a year-long one that is on and off throughout the year. It's time for the Autumn Equinox so I'm so excited to uh, show you what I'll be reading to pass this semester. So as always both readathons will be linked in the description below. I'll pop the announcement videos of both if you guys would like to check it out. Okay so we're going to talk about Pick Pong Athon first. My original plan was that I was going to show a throw, show the prompt, but the way that it's worked out is so confusing and I think that's just going to confuse me and it's going to confuse you guys and it's not going to work. So I'm going to show you all of my throws and then we're just going to talk about all of the books because I feel like that's a simpler way to do it and it will cause less confusion. Okay welcome to Pick Pong Throws. Um, welcome to this massively wide angle shot. I feel like I'm so far away from the camera but this is the only way I could get me in, get the cups in, get the table in. So I'm really excited but nervous. I'm not an athletic person at all so this is going to be quite humiliating for me. I know it already. I've got literally like a piece of paper so I can keep track of how many uh, misses I have because I know there will be plenty. Um, but I'm so excited. I've been waiting so long to do this. So let's just, let's just get into it. Um, okay, throw number one. Oh, <laughs> no way! I got it in on my first throw. That's insane. I am an athlete after all. I changed my mind. Okay, I've got my, got my extra prompts here. Okay, let's see what I got. Holy crap, that was amazing. I feel like that's going to give me a false sense of security for the rest of this video, but that's okay. I got it in this cup here. That was here. Let's see what the prompt is. I'll take the ball out. That'd help. And what's the prompt? The prompt is a name in the title. Okay, that's not too hard of a prompt. I'm happy with that. Let's replace that one with this. So to start off, I've got no misses and one book already. So wow, I'm thoroughly impressed with myself. Uh, yeah, let, let's uh, let's watch it go down feel from here. So I put popped that one back and let's get into the next row. Okay, let's go again. Okay, that's miss number one. That's miss number two. I knew the the first shot in would uh, not last. Okay. That's miss number three. Came back to me. Half the light. That's miss number four. That's miss number five. So let me tally that. I've got an extra throw to do. Okay. Let's try again. Way! There we go. Okay. So which one did it go in? Went in, ooh, went in this one here, right in the middle. Okay, this one, Put the ball out, there we go, and what's the prompt on the bottom? Let's see, ooh, so we've got LGBTQIA plus book, and we have a reward as well, so let me go grab the award, rewards. So I got my couple of awards, let's see what I get. Okay, so minus one book, hell yeah, that's a good, that's a good reward. I will take that and then uh, have I replaced this one? No, I need to put a new prompt on the bottom of this one and then we will start again. Okay, this is for throw number three. That's one miss. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so where are my prompts gone? Here. So I got it in this one here. Very nice. Take the ball out. Let's see what prompt I got. Okay. Uh, gifted. Okay, cool. This is for book number four. Okay. Number one. That's miss number two. There's another ball. Is that miss number two? Yes, that's miss number two. That's miss number three. Bullseye. Okay. So we're on three misses now, and it went in this cup here. 
I'm not keeping track if books have gone, if balls have gone in the same cup twice. So if it has, I will figure that out once I sit down and tell you my actual TBR. Take the ball out and then let's see what we've got. We've got first in a series and we've also got a punishment. Here's my punishment cup. Let's see what I got. I hope it's not something too mean, even though the game's been pretty nice to me so far. So, okay, I got to take a step back. So I'm gonna take a step back when I'm throwing. Hopefully the camera will still be able to see me when I do that, um, but okay, let's do the punishment. Okay, so I'm usually throwing from here. I might just throw from here. I hope you can still see me. I can't tell if you can, but um, I'll go a little bit back. Okay, that's miss number four. So we're up to four misses. All right, five misses. That is a extra throw. Oh! The prompt is female author. Sweet. Uh, where's my other prompts? Let's shake this up and replace it. So far this game has been quite nice to me actually. So on it goes. And let's throw again. Okay, so that should be me done. Um, I've got the five uh, throws done, but as you saw, I missed um, 10 times. So that is two extra throws that I've got to do. Um, I still do have my minus one book reward, but again, I'm going to figure all that when I sit down and I'll just, um, I think I'll do the throws, get the books and then decide what one I don't want after. That's probably dangerous thinking, but Oh well, okay, so this is for the extra throw number one. Boom, straight in. Okay, so it landed in this back middle one. So, um, I got the prompt TBR game. Okay, this is for extra throw number two. We're currently sitting at zero misses, so let's go. Okay, we're currently sitting at one miss. That's two misses, that was a horrendous throw. That's three misses, okay, that's four misses, shoot, I'm in trouble. That's five misses, that's an extra throw. Oh god, oh god. Okay, this is for extra throw number two, now out of three. Ah, oh, thank god, okay. So, what do we got here? Landed in this one here, take the ball out. And then what's the prompt is plant throw number eight let's do this that's miss number one that's miss number two that's miss number three. <laughs> oh, this game is gonna go on forever that's miss number four that's miss number five that is an extra extra throw I'm having the best time <laughs> oh, shit Alright, so we're at another throw and one miss. Man, I'm having so much fun. That's miss number two. That's miss number three. Miss number four, come on! Someone pushing the balls out. Oh no. Let's start again. That's miss number one. That's miss number two. What is going on with me all of a sudden? I can't get it in. Yes! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, yes. Okay, so I've had three misses. Cool, cool, cool. What do we got? This one here. So, what's the prompt? The prompt is skip and then I got a punishment as well. Okay, let's pick my punishment. Let's see, my punishment is one plus miss. So now we're up to four misses. That's fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so we're on four misses and I still need to get two more throws. Okay, that's great. Oh, yay! Oh my God, okay, okay, okay. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Yay, that one, this one here. Last getting back on my side, there we go. Let's see what the prompt is. The prompt is star. Okay, this is for throw number 10 now. We're going great. Okay. Oh, 
Fuck yeah! Okay. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. That is me done. That is me done. Hell yeah. That one in the middle here. I feel like I've had so many double up prompts, but that's okay. That's for later me to figure out. So the final, final, final prompt is two plus, uh, two plus authors. Ooh, okay. That's going to be a tricky one, actually. Yay, that's my throws done. I did horrible, as expected. Okay, so now that I've embarrassed myself fully with my throws, let's actually get into what I'm reading. So, I'm going to try and explain this as smoothly as humanly possible. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to confuse myself. <laughs> so, first up, uh, as you saw, my first throw was read a book with a name and the title. For that one, I am just going to be reading Hamnet by Maggie... What is it? Maggie O'Farrell. This is a story inspired by the actual son of Shakespeare Hamnet, who obviously inspired Hamlet, one of the most famous plays ever. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this book. It is a women's prize for fiction winner, and I mean, I know that the writing style is going to be beautiful and fantastic and great quality. Just not sure if the story is going to be like my kind of thing. I feel like it's going to be really slow paced. So I'm interested to see how much I vibe with this book. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I just had a real inkling. Like I, when it first came, well not when it first came out, when it was really, really popular earlier this year, I just was like, oh, that sounds really good. I want to read it. So obviously I do have a little bit of an interest in it. Just really not sure if it's going to, if it's going to pay off. But yeah, that's the first book. Second throw you saw I got to read a book with LGBTQIA plus rep and I also got a reward on this one which was minus one book. Don't worry that reward will come up in one moment. So for that book, where did it go? I'm going to be reading um, Vampires Never Get Old. This is a like, what do you call it? Anthology? Short story collection? by a bunch of very famous authors. The reason this um, passes LGBT is because there is a story in this by the one and only Victoria Schwab called First Kill that is, I believe, a lesbian vampire vampire hunter romance. Um, and I, um, I think I previously tried to pick this book up before from the library because it's not my copy um, and not liked it. But I only read like one story if I remember correctly, so I need to give it a proper go. I didn't get anywhere near Victoria's story. And the other reason I want to read this book is because um, most of you watching probably know First Kill has just been um, made into a Netflix show that I think literally just got cancelled this morning, um, which sucks. And I wanted to read the story before I watched the show because I've heard, yeah, I've heard that the quality wasn't amazing so I don't want to spoil the story by watching that first and then maybe not liking it so um yeah I'm gonna be reading that okay here's where I'm gonna try my best to explain this properly so if you've watched Crystal's videos before you might know this or if you played yourself you might know this if not in um Crystal's version of Pick Pong Thong well the one and only version um if you throw and land the ball in the same cup twice you have to combine those prompts so I did do this for number three through number three I got gifted and then I landed in the same cup in through number nine so I got star so I have to combine those books um, so that would have been read a gifted book and star um, and then I, I said before I got the minus one book reward so I'm using that to just get rid of this so I don't have to read anything for this. I was a bit cheeky and I asked Crystal, I was like, can I use this reward for one where I've combined it? And she said, yeah, whatever, whatever makes you happy. So no book for this prompt. And then we have another combined one where I landed the ball in the same cup twice. For roll number Thor, I got first in the series. And then for roll number 10, the final roll, I landed in the same cup. And that prompt is two plus authors. So all together, it would be read a book that is the first in the series that has more than one author. For that I'm just going with the only book on my shelf that fit that prompt was The Ravens. I think this is about like a sorority where the girls are witches um, and then there's um, a wicked power rising on campus. There's a girl who doesn't know she's a witch and she's um, trying to do whatever it takes to be become a part of the magical sisterhood. So yeah I, I feel like I'm not gonna like this one but I, it's the only one that fit the prompt and I'm um, really in the mood to unhaul, so if I don't like it, 
I don't know, I just, I just have a feeling after reading the blurb that I just, I feel like it's going to get unhauled. I don't know, maybe I'm judging it too soon, but we'll see. Luckily, rule number five is simple and easy, and that is read a book with a female author. I'm finally doing it, guys. I'm finally reading Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. It is time. So, um, this is just about Selena. Selena's an assassin, and I think she just enters this competition where if she defeats 20 or so other competitors, she wins her freedom. Um, but one by one, her competitors start dying. Um, and she has to figure out who's killing them and defeat the kind of evil that's around. So, I'm finally doing it. It's finally this month. I'm, I promise if I don't get to any of these books this month, I will make this one a priority. I need to do it. Um, also, I need to buy the rest of these covers now if I like it, because just a couple of days ago the new covers got announced. But anyway, that's not important. That's I'm getting sidetracked. Reading Throne of Glass. Okay, I'm sorry for the jarring cut and change of um, change of shot, but um, I need a bit more space for this one. For throw number six, I got the prompt TBR game where you have to um, get your book by playing someone else's TBR game. Um, I was really unsure what, I, what to do with this, so I just tweeted and Crystal was like, use Gav from How to Train Your Gav, um, How to Train Your Gavin's uh, TBR game where he plays higher or lower and I was like, bloody genius. So um, I'm doing that. So I'm sure everyone's watched Gavin's channel, like he's one of the kings of booktube. Basically I picked a book that I really want to read, Burn Down Rise Up by Vincent Tirado, I don't think you can say it, and I picked a book I really don't want to read, Ele Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine, um, and I've set out five cards, so I have to guess um, whether the rest are going to be higher or lower than the first, so this one here is number three. I'm going to have to guess whether the next one is higher or lower. Three is really low, so I'm going to go higher. Oh, just. Um, so that's number four. You really can't see this properly, whatever. Number four, I'm going to say it's going to be higher because that's still quite low. Oops. Okay. Well, I accidentally saw that one, but it's okay. I lost anyway. Number two, that is not higher than number four, so I lose, which means um, I didn't make it all the way. So that means I have to read the book I don't want to read, which is Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. I'm really not happy about that. Really not happy about that at all. Um, yeah, I feel like this is going to be a really, like, draining book, like mentally to read and I just not that that's why I don't want to read it I just I don't think I'm gonna like it I'm pretty sure it's on my self-destruct uh video which I'll link up here um so yeah I mean I've been putting it off big time I don't know why I purchased it to be honest I think it was trending so I wanted it because it was trending but yeah Wow, that was such a disappointing game of higher or lower. The row number seven was the prompt plant. For that, I am going to be reading Chai Time at Cinnamon Gardens. This is a book by Shankari Chandran. This is a book just set in a nursing home in Australia um, with just all these people from all these uh, colourful uh, histories. Um, and yeah, that's all I want to know about this book. I want to keep it brief. I've had two people recommend it to me and say it's beautiful. The cover is just absolutely stunning. And yeah, I want to go into this blind and um, I had a someone in my class tell me that, in my TAFE class told me that um, they learned a lot from this book, um, especially about like uh, people from Sri Lanka. So yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a beautiful like heartwarming story but really educational at the same time so I'm looking forward to this one. Throw number eight was uh, the prompt skip so I don't have to pick a book for that and as I said earlier throw number nine and ten were combined with other prompts because of double ups so that's my pick pong TBR complete. So let's move on to the magical readathon. So this is done a little bit differently to the Spring Equinox, but I like it, um, changes it up a little bit. We are on our second semester of classes. Um, just a reminder, I am training to be a healer. That's my career, so my prompts relate to that. First of all, I need an O in Elemental Studies. So the prompt is Element of Water, start a book with a drink. Um, 
easy. I'm just going to pick one off my TBR, The Ravens, um, by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. That is going to be a lot of repetition, I'm sorry, but I couldn't do heaps of, heaps of books because that would be a little bit out of control. And then we need a cue in alchemy. So there's two prompts to get this grade. First one, Basis of Poisons, a book on someone's worst list you think you might like. And do you think I was intelligent and actually wrote down whose worst list I got this off? I cannot remember. I have an inkling of who it might be, but I can't remember. So I'm going to put their channel name on the screen. I'm so sorry, but I watched so many people's worst lists that I can't remember who I got it off. It was on someone. You know what? It might have been Book Roast herself. Might have been G's worst list. You know what? It was G's worst list. I'll write down here if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I got this off G's worst books of 2021 list um, and that is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Um, look at this copy I have by the way. It's like it's stunning. Um, this also has been on my TBR for such a long time. I couldn't tell you what this is about actually. I just know that apparently it's like stunning writing um, and the reason I want to get to this as well is because I'm such a huge fan of The Night Circus. Loved the writing so I thought I'll love this one too. It's about a guy called Zachary. He stumbles across a strange book hidden in his university library and it leads him on a quest unlike any other. Its pages entrance him with tales of uh, lost cities, blah blah blah. Let me skip that. That's not actually interesting. Um, they also contain something impossible, a recollection from his own childhood. Determined to solve the puzzle of the book, he follows the clues he finds on the cover, the bee, a key and a sword. They guide him to a masquerade ball, to all these other places. Um, through a magical doorway created by the fierce and mysterious Mirabelle. The door leads him to a subterranean labyrinth filled with stories hidden far beneath the surface of the earth. Um, then the labyrinth is threatened. He must race with Mirabelle and Dorian, a handsome barefoot man with shifting alliances, through its twisting tunnels and crowded ballrooms searching for the end of his story. So this is a story of star a story lovers and those who will protect our stories at all costs. Also, look at the end pages. They're just, oh, gorgeous. Uh, yeah, this sounds like a whimsical fun time. The writing style is meant to be just stunning. Um, I've heard, yeah, mixed stuff because I think story-wise it's probably might not be super strong or I think maybe it's a little bit confusing, um, but hopefully the writing style will make up for the confusing plot. The second prompt to get a cue in alchemy is Poison Acidic Amber. This is Read an Orange Book. For that I'm just going to go with Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Badbury. I got this recently at a second hand book haul. That's a spoiler for my haul coming soon. Um, uh, and yeah, this is just about this world where books are kind of blamed for all the bad things that kind of happen in the world, the melancholy in the world. Um, so they are forbidden and they are burnt. Yeah, so I think our main character is a firefighter, yeah, who burns the books. So yeah, this is a classic, really well-known book and yeah, I'm excited. I've been, it's been on my radar for a while as well. So I'm glad I got this second hand because I'm, again, I feel like I'm saying that for every book on this TBR. I'm iffy whether it's going to be my thing or not, but I'm intrigued. The final grade I need to get this semester is a D in Restoration. Uh, this is the highest grade, I believe. Um, so that means there is three prompts for this one. Uh, we'll move through this one pretty quickly. The first one is Object Restoration, um, a book with a single object as the focus. Uh, for that, I'm just going with Vampires Never Get Old. We've got the single skull. Easy. Um, then the second one is Enchanted Scroll Mending, one of the oldest books on your TBR. For that one, I'm going to say Throne of Glass. I have no idea how long this has been on my TBR because I don't like catalogue as I get them. Um, definitely one of my oldest. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how long. I would love to know how long I've had this book, but way too long. So another reason why I need to read it this month. The final prompt for Restoration is read a book in one or two sittings. I'm just going a very little one for this one, obviously, and that is Before the Coffee Gets Cold. This is by Tojikazu Kawaguchi. I'm so sorry, the pronunciation's atrocious. Um, this is about this uh, little cafe in Tokyo, and people can go to this cafe and uh, time travel, is that how they describe it? Um, yes, the chance to travel back in time. So in this book, we meet four people. Um, 
there is one person who is looking to confront their lover who left them, one person to receive a letter from the husband whose memory has begun to fade, one person who wants to see their sister one last time, and one person who meets the daughter they never got the chance to know, um, and you must return before your coffee gets cold. This sounds like it's going to be beautiful and just really sad. Um, this has been one of my most anticipated reads and I just keep forgetting it's sitting on my shelf. So I really want to make sure I get to it this month because I just, I feel like I'm going to eat this up. I feel like it's going to be just like fantastic. It's got to be trending for a reason, right? Like that blurb just sounds just magical. Those are the nine books I'm going to read this month. I, um, it's a bit daunting. It's been a long time since I've read nine books in a month, but... I feel like I have a good mix of genres here and yeah I'm excited to get into all of these lovely books. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what is the book you're most looking forward to reading in August. As always all of my social media links are in the description below. I'd love to chat with you on other social media sites as well. Have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you whenever I post next. Bye!